Hello everybody, my name is Oscar and this is episode 32 of Java Game Development. Now, I have a new plan for episodes regarding Java Game Development. See, I suggested I should do um, a theoretical part and a practical part, because some people seem to prefer me typing code and some people seem to prefer me explaining code as I go along with, you know, a, a, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. So for this episode I'm going to have two parts, the theoretical part and the practical part. So this is the theoretical part. If you want to go to the practical part, click the annotation on screen now, or just look in the description in case I forget that. Okay, now the theoretical part, let's start. The topic of this video is going to be face culling. Before I get into the what of face culling, I would like to tell you why one should use face culling. The reason for that is performance. If you use face culling, OpenGL can receive up to 50% less polygons, and that's a huge performance advantage. So, performance. Now, face culling removes shape faces. Shape faces that you do not need, deem necessary for the drawing. For example, if you have a 3D model, then the inside is not necessary. You don't need to send those shapes to OpenGL. So it removes shape faces. Now, every shape in OpenGL every primitive has a front and a back face so if I draw a quadrilateral here it has a front face I'm going to assign the front face to green and it also has a back face but how do you know which face is which well, OpenGL determines that by looking at the vertex order, the order in which you send the vertices to OpenGL. So let's clear this slide and go to the next one. All right. So if I draw a triangle here, then you don't know which face is the front face and which face is the back face. But if you specify the vertex order, you can. So the order in which I've sent the vertices to OpenGL happens to be this one first, then this one, and lastly this one. Now, we can conclude that the vertex order is clockwise. One, two, three, right? Clockwise. And it so happens to be that clockwise means that uh, the face you're seeing right now is actually the back face of the object. So this is the back face of the triangle. That's not really what you want because you don't want to see the back face. You want to see the front face so you can cull out the back face. So how do we do that? Well, we simply change the vertex order, so it will be like this, and then we have the front side, all right? So again, clockwise, that is when you see the back side, and counterclockwise, that's when you see the front side. Now let's change this to the front side. Okay, so we need a counterclockwise order. That means that if we start here, we need to go, oops, like that, and then like that. So this, if you send the vertices this way, and you see the shape in this orientation, then you can say that this is the front face of the shape. So this is counterclockwise and thus the front. 
how do you actually enable culling in OpenGL? There are two commands which you need to use to enable culling. The first command is enable. And you just need to enable culling. And you say enable cull face. All right. The second the second thing you need to specify is the face which needs to be culled. So you say cull face and then you say either front, back or front and back. If you don't want to cull then you just say gl disable cull face. So you say front oops or you say back or you say front and back but I'm not going to write that down all right so that was really all there was to it for the theoretical parts now there is a little demo to make it a bit more apparent what culling is and how you can use it or what it can be used for so here's the demo, you might have seen it already in the demonstration video, but regardless I'm going to show it again. So I have three drawing modes now. I have triangles, points, and lines. Alright, now the vertex order so happens to be counterclockwise on this triangle. So can you guess which face we're looking at right now? Hopefully that was right. It is, in fact, the front face of the triangle. So if we cull the front face, it's no longer there, because we only saw the front face. If we cull the back face, the triangle is still there. If we cull, cull both, then the triangle disappears. And if we don't cull them, of course, we can see the triangle. Now there's something special going on for points and lines, because, you see, points and lines don't have... Uh, a vertex order, they don't support culling, that would be illogical, wouldn't it? So if you say enable front culling on points, nothing will happen. Enable back culling on front on points, nothing will happen. Enable both and they will still appear. Same goes for lines. So don't think that culling everything means destroying everything because that's not true. Anyway, this was episode 32, the theoretical part that is. Now, if you have any questions, send them to support at thecodinguniverse.com. If you want to donate to the calls of free online video and text tutorials, the link will be in the description too. And the source code, the source code for this demonstration application will also be in the description. So I'll see you either in the theoretical part, in a bonus episode, or in episode 33. Bye.